Hello everyone, my name is Mikhail and in the following three part mini series I'll be showing you how our component system works. The component system is a JavaScript library that we've created that is based on custom HTML elements and its idea is to add easy modularity to your HTML pages without having to use a large JavaScript framework like React, React, Vue or any other. As you have some experience creating game UIs, we have a notion of which are the most used UI components. And for that reason, we decided to pre-make some of them to allow users to rapidly prototype their UIs. In this video, which is part one of our mini series, I'll be showing you how to use these already made components. Now in the page you have been seeing in front of you is the documentation of our components. And to the left here, you see these two tabs, components and examples. In components, you see each component we've already made and its documentation. And under examples, you can see how they look inside of the browser. So to get started, let's create the first one, the accordion menu. Now you can see here we have some information. And if you go to examples and set accordion menu, we can see how it will look. It's just a simple accordion menu with drawers. To get started, we have to install our component. As you can see, the, this component and all of the rest are actually up, uploaded as node modules. So we can just use npm install to add them to our project. So the first thing we need to do is create an HTML page. Let's add an HTML tag, a body, and a head. Okay. And here we first need to create a package JSON before we install. So let's make one quickly. And now we can do npm install, coherent game face, and the name of the component. In this case, it would be accordion menu. I copy it from here paste and it will be installed so to use it we have two options to use it with a bundler or as an umd module since we are not using any bundlers like webpack vite or parcel we'll be following this section so to start we need to add the JavaScript files and the styles. But the, the other thing that we need to add, and this is for all of the components that we're using, we need to add the components library itself. So we can do this by going to node modules, coherent game phase components, in this, and let's add the production. And now that we have this, we can go back here and copy this as it's with the right path and let's save. And the other thing we need to do is add the styles. So here under add the styles, you can see the files that we need, which will be the styles.css and the coherent game phase component theme, which is the common styling for all of the components. If you choose, you can omit these styles, however, you won't be able to see anything when you create them. So it's more easy in the beginning and for prototyping to do this. And let's add first our components team and then let's add our style.css and now if we load this in index.html in our player we won't see anything the reason is that apart from loading these files we need to add the custom html element which in our case is game face accordion menu 
and we need to add some parents to it. So let's just copy this code in our body and let's reload our page and we'll see our accordion panel. We can now copy this and we'll see two panels. If we go to our documentation, we can also see there are different attributes that you can add to your accordion menu and panels. For example, we can add multiple. So this means that currently if we have one open and we open the other drawer, it will close the first, but with multiple, we will keep them both open. And there are more common ones like disabled. So for example, we can say here disabled. And you can see that we can no longer open this drawer. Different, comp different pre-made components have different attributes. So be sure to check out the documentation to see what is supported. And this is everything for the first video in the mini series. In the next one, we'll be showing you how to set up a project with a bundler and use the components inside of it. Thank you and see you in the next one.